Hello everyone. So my main focus on uh, this tutorial is basic modeling and uh, for things like, well, rearranging your furniture or redecorating your home, taking a view at this sort of thing, or 3D printing basic models like, well, we've built this 3D printer. This machine contains mostly a lot of printed parts, like this for instance, that's 3D printed, everything red and blue actually, and you're almost there to be able to design things like these. Except for one little tool that I would like to discuss in this video, which is cutting things. Um, what could be useful, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna design a corner bracket or something. I'm gonna snap my cursor here, and I'm going to deliberately turn off auto merge out here so if I s uh, scale z in this direction zero these are overlapping at this point let's just keep it that way for the time being and I'm gonna select these two points shift a add another cube scale yeah let's do something like this yeah let's cut this out I'm, there's uh, three menus here, vertex menu, if I hover you can see control V, there's a lot of tools here as well, a lot of things that you could explore, but I'm going to explain some of them in, uh, in other videos, edge menu, control E, control, and there's some tools in here as well for edges, and then you've got this face menu where I'm interested in right now, control F, and I'm going to select intersect boolean. So it's cutting this part out, and that looks nice, it's not, not really exactly how I want it. Let me just move these, extrude like this, and move these here, extrude like this, and cut out well. Scale. Snap selection to grid, G, this area, scale like that, I guess. Yeah, that might be better. Control F, face menu, intersect boolean, here we are. This is a more proper corner bracket, I guess. But there could be problems. In this case, it didn't have any problems, but yeah, it could. So let's just say, for instance, I'm going to snap my cursor here, top view, shift A, add cylinder, and let's make it uh, well, 18, 18 vertices. Radius could be smaller, let's see, scale, shift Z like this for instance, G hmm, 18, rotate, I'm just gonna put it like this, G hmm, let's delete these vertices, X delete vertices extrude, scale minus 1, duplicate scale in this direction, minus 1 and now you can see these are not connected, these are overlapping. So I'm just going to select these, control scroll, press F to fix, and you get problems already. So I'm just going to turn this on, G, and now F fix, now it works out better. And then control F, intersect boolean, and I've got some troubles here as well. Control Z. So there's something wrong, and that depends on some hidden geometry. Uh, first off, let's take a look at this box here. And here you can select things you want to see or don't want to see. So, for instance, the Z axis, now you see a blue line as well. Um, and in this case, I'm interested in face orientation. As I select that, you can see some parts are red, some parts are blue. 
which means well the red should be the inside of an object and blue should be the outside of an object in this case Blender doesn't know exactly how to cut things because there's some part that is inversed here um, let me just hold down control scroll and then move to mesh normals that's the face orientation so I'm gonna recalculate the outside and now everything is blue let me press ctrl F once again intersect boolean and now it works there could be more wrong with this thing let's say let's deselect everything select by trade non manifolds sometimes things light up like for instance if I snap my cursor here let me just uh, X delete these faces it's opened up see there you can see the red on the inside and uh, select this and uh, this edge here extrude scale Z zero now these are automatically joined here but these don't have any vertices here so if I press G you can see it's still open that could be a problem for 3d printing for a lot of things but if you don't see that then uh, you could just select by trade non-manifold and I use a shortcut key for that I just right click assign shortcut ctrl alt shift all three the modifier keys and then right click so right mouse so now if I ctrl shift alt right click you can see there is a line highlighted where Blender says hey there is something wrong here and now I could just say for instance okay let me see oh, as you can see here there is something wrong here but, but the model is not closed it's the, it's not a solid a total solid so I'm just gonna scale zero these are connected I'm gonna snap my cursor here scale zero and now you have a solid model and there's some things here for instance I can, I can select these as well as these and then scale shift Y 0 like that for instance yeah it looks better but there could be something here something wrong with these but in this case it isn't so now I can use ctrl shift alt right click Oh, there's still something wrong here what's wrong here G oh yeah there is something going on it's opened up here as well so let's just uh, select these X delete faces I'm gonna select these three press F these three F and then I guess F for this. Now Shift or Control Alt, right click, Shift G. There is no nothing highlighted anymore. Now it's a solid object. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to select this point, front view, select these, duplicate, rotate. G. Sometimes, if you try to I press F to fix, now I can cut this through, it's red, but I think it can still do it, but uh, let's just move to mesh, normals, and you could just press Shift N for recalculating outside, so Shift N, and now it's fully blue. Control F, intersect boolean, and now it has some trouble here as well and uh, sometimes and sometimes it does work sometimes it doesn't but you need to make it stick through like this if it's if this uh, section is on the same face area it doesn't know if it needs to remove that face or cut through that face or not so it's best to just uh, G do this now I can control scroll, control F face menu, intersect and now it works. So that's basically um, that's basically uh, cutting things. 
So make sure you have uh, the face orientation selected. Now I can just turn it off. And if I press A, deselect everything, then you can just say select by trade non-manifolds. And I have the shortcut key for this. So, and if nothing is highlighted, you have a decent solid object. So that's basically what you should take care of. And, uh, and then you could cut out things like what I did now. In principle you can design all, all, all kinds of stuff already with the knowledge you have right now. Yeah, I think I forgot something. You know, this part here, this is getting awfully close to the edge. I think I should change some stuff here. For instance, um, let me just select these. Duplicate scale 0. G. Extrude. Extrude. Like this. Extrude. Like that. Fix. Now shift N, recalculate normals. Press F to fix everything. For instance, something like this. Um, G. Uh, that looks better. Now control F, face menu. And intersect boolean. Now cuts it, it cuts it out, but I'm just gonna select union. If it looks like this, you just hit the arrow here. Union. There you go. I'm just gonna select all, X, delete, and then limited dissolve. Like that. And this is, this should go like this. So you can also add two. So it's not only for uh, cutting things. Now this part, I could just move it over here. Now let's see. Well, let's repeat the process. Duplicate, rotate, like this. Scale. Minus one. Let's see. Um, G. This one as well. G. Fix. 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 Shift N normals. Control F face menu. Intersect Boolean. And I think something is wrong here. This didn't connect properly. Okay, so... Uh, I think I'm gonna have to move it over here a little bit like this. Move this over here a little bit like that. Because these faces were on the same plane. Now it isn't. So Control F, intersect Boolean. And now it cuts it out properly. However... I'm just going to select these, scale shift X, zero, snap my cursor here, scale shift X, zero. Sometimes it doesn't work as you would want, scale zero, like this, scale X, zero. And now it's fixed, I guess. Yeah, these are better connected now. So now just X limited dissolve. Here you go. So you can uh, cut and add to it. And there is also a difference. But you can play with this and see how it works out. And it does take practice, so don't forget. Uh, practice makes perfect, right? So I'll see you later in the next video. If you think this, been, this has been useful, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. So see you all later, I guess.